History buffs have the opportunity to learn more about aviation during World War II. The Air Power History Tour happening all weekend long at the Tri-Cities Airport, and that's where we find News Channel 11's Angelie Daniel. She joins us to give us an inside look at one of these planes. Angelie, what do you have for us? Well, Casey, they let me sit in the pilot seat of this B-29 Super Fortress, also known as Fifi. But I'm actually here with one of the crew members of this plane, Mr. Eric Friedebuck, who's going to tell us just a little bit about what this plane was used for. Thank you so much for joining us today. This was the most advanced bomber in World War II. It was a $3 billion project, which was a billion more than the Manhattan Project, was only $2 billion. When I'm doing cockpit tours, one of the things I always like to point out, if I see somebody come on board and they've got a Star Wars t-shirt, I say, take a look at that. Does that remind you of anything? This greenhouse here, the Millennium Falcon, George Lucas took his inspiration for the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon from the B-29. So that's where that came from. Right up front there, that's the famous Norden bomb site. That was a highly guarded secret in World War II. And I know that this was used for so many different things, but right now this is only one of two of these types of planes flying. How did that come to be with the commemorative airport Air Force? That's correct. Our organization, when we started, we our mission was to have a flying example of as many World War II aircraft as we could. And we acquired the aircraft in the late 1960s. It took quite a bit, but by 1972, we had this aircraft flying and we were doing air shows with it. So for over 50 years, we've been the sole operator of this aircraft and so many people have seen it. So many veterans have been able to come out and visit with us. It's just been a, an amazing thing to be able to do. Well, let's kind of run through some of the other things here in the cockpit that folks will get to see on their tour. Obviously, this is the pilot you're, seat. You're in the pilot seat. This is the co-pilot seat. That's the bombardier right up front there and then we're going to pan back over here and when i'm doing cockpit tours this is where i'm sitting now, i'm not a flight engineer but i'll be taking the flight engineer's seat and i always tell people the hardest working guy on our crew is there because there is a lot to keep him busy absolutely well it seems like this is just a great opportunity to learn more about these important pieces of u.s history is there anything else that you want folks to know before they can come out here and take a look at this for themselves we're going to be here through sunday afternoon till five o'clock we're open from nine to five come on out you'll have a great time I yes. guarantee it. Well, Eric, thank you so much. And again, thank you for hosting us here today. Well, Casey, I'm going to go learn a little bit more about this plane and some of the other ones here at the airport, but I'll catch back up with you in just a bit. Ansley, thank you very much. A little secret behind our success in air power in World War II right here in the Tri-Cities, the greatest generation alive and well.